the toilet paper dome. Iran launched over a hundred missiles at military targets in Israel on Tuesday in retaliation for the killing of Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps commander Abbas Neil Farushan in last week's Israeli assassination strike in Beirut. Iran claims 90% of its missiles reached their target, a figure which is impossible to confirm or refute since the Israeli military is censoring information about impact location and damage. Video footage has emerged of explosions on the ground and craters from where the missiles landed, however, which means they weren't intercepted by Israel's so-called Iron Dome missile defense system. So it turns out, the Iron Dome is mostly narrative, just like everything else about Israel. The aura of imperviousness that Israel works so hard to convey to both its enemies and its citizenry has been punched full of craters as the world is shown evidence that Israel's defenses are only good against the homemade rockets used by Palestinian resistance fighters. Iran has demonstrated in no uncertain terms that it has the ability to hurt Israel if it wants to. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says the U.S. will be working with Israel to make sure Iran faces severe consequences for its strikes. So it looks like this could get ugly. Western officials are predictably denouncing the Iranian strike as a dangerous escalation, having had nothing to say about any of the horrific Western-backed escalations which led to this point, like the year-long mass atrocity in Gaza, the invasion of Lebanon, or Israel's constant assassination strikes in neighboring nations. After talking about the Iranian attack as a brazen and unacceptable escalation, State Department spokesman Matthew Miller was asked by the press if he considered anything Israel has done in the past three weeks escalatory. Miller ridiculously refused to acknowledge any escalatory behavior on Israel's part, saying instead that Israel had merely, quote, done things to expand the conflict in order to fight terrorism. We've been seeing similarly bizarre linguistic gymnastics from the mainstream press since Israel began its invasion of Lebanon, with the mass media instead using phrases like raids, ground offensive, ground operation, and Israel enters Lebanon in its headlines in order to avoid the word invasion. This is the same media class that used to ridicule Russia for calling its invasion of Ukraine a special military operation. That's right, kids. Iran's attacks escalate. Israel's attacks expand the conflict. Lebanon's attacks are terrorism. Israel's attacks are self-defense. Russia launched an invasion. Israel launched a limited ground operation. Destroying Gaza is a response to October 7th. October 7th was unprovoked. When their guys do it, it's bad. When our guys do it, it's cool. Hypocrisy runs rife throughout the Western Empire because the Western Empire is not what it pretends to be. It pretends to stand for peace and stability when it really stands for war and domination. It pretends to stand for human rights when it really stands for tyranny and abuse. It pretends to stand for truth and justice when it really stands for lies and propaganda. This is the dystopia we were born into, and it's got us on a trajectory toward somewhere very bad. Buckle up.